Hey, my name is Andy, and I will be presenting my paper for the IEEE Sensors 2020 conference called Radar Microdoppler Based Rotary Zone Detection Using Parametric Spectral Estimation Techniques. I am a master's student at Carleton University, and I'm doing my research in radar sensing of UAVs at GRDC. Here is my poster for my conference paper. My research is in the radar detection of small UAVs. Because of their small size and low speed, they can be easily mistaken as clutter or birds. One way of distinguishing them is to use their microdoppler signatures, which are modulations in Doppler due to their spinning propellers. In this paper, I am working with Hermline signatures, which are horizontal spectral lines with fundamental frequency related to the propeller rotation rate. For a single rotor drone, the Hermline signature can be represented by the main Doppler term, A0, and the sum of sinusoids representing the Hermline. Since this structure is unique for rotary drones, one feature that could be used for detection is the number of firm lines. To estimate the number of firm lines, we use a parametric method based on the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix. In this paper, we try two model-based techniques, AIC and MDL, to estimate the number of harmonic components. The steps of the proposed method are as follows. First, a segment of 128 data points are taken in a range bin where there may be a drone. A high-pass filter was applied to remove the main Doppler component because we are only focused on the Herm lines. And then a 30 by 30 covariance matrix was built by first generating a trajectory matrix Y using an embedded time series. The eigenvalues of the covariance matrix are then ordered from greatest to least and fed into MDL or AIC to estimate the number of harmonic components. If this number was more than zero, then we know that there are Herm lines present and this is a rotary drone. The performance of this algorithm was tested using the Z3 X4 radar and the micro helicopter drone. Two measurement trials were conducted, one with the propeller spinning between 0.5 and 7 seconds and one without. This was used to represent clutter. The proposed method should be able to estimate that there are multiple harmonic components between 0.5 and 7 seconds. So figure three shows the results obtained using the MDL criteria and the AIC criteria. MDL performs very well with a probability of detection of 0.85 with a false alarm rate of 0.06. AIC consistently overestimated the number of harmonic components, so it had a lot of false alarms. Finally, I compared the performance of this parametric method to a power spectrogram based method. When there are Herm lines present, the power of the highest peak in the spectrogram should be higher than clutter. So figure four shows the histogram power distribution and the rock curve. The false alarm rate is 0.2 at a probability of detection of 0.85, which is worse than our proposed parametric method of detection. So this is an overview of my conference paper. Future work will consist of trying newer techniques of estimating the number of harmonic components as well as doing simulations because this was purely experimental based. Thank you for listening to my poster presentation.